Hello and welcome to my review of uh, Bulgari's Rose Essential Perfume Fragrance. Um, this is actually a request from one of my Twitter followers called NKOTBSB UK Girl, which literally translates as New Kids on the Block, Backstreet Boys UK Girl. You're obviously a, a true fan, so this review is for you, and um, all I can say is. Quit playing games with my heart. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of embarrassing, but this one's for you. So, this is a floral fragrance. It came out in 2006, and um, the first thing I'll say basically is that I've had kind of a lot of issues with Bulgari fragrances. A lot of them don't seem to last on me, particularly. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know if this if it's the quality or not, but this one in particular and the original Pour Femme, which I'll talk about in a minute, they, it's, it, they're both of them are just very, very strong and they seem to last for a very long time. So my, I'm reviewing the Eau de Parfum version of it. Um, it does come in a Eau de Toilette concentration, which is called Eau de Toilette it's Ro the rosy or something. It's, it's I don't know. It's a weird name. I've never smelled that one before, but I'm doing it based on this one anyway. So um, the notes. So the top notes are rose, obviously, um, blackberry, and violet. Then the heart notes are mimosa, and then you've got something called taif rose or taif rose. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's kind of like a tea rose. So it's rose, but it's a lot more crisp and fresh. Because rose normally, to me, is... Obviously it's very floral, but it, it has a very sweet kind of tone to it. This is a different kind of rose. And then it has jasmine as well, in the heart. So then the base notes are gayak wood, um, patchouli, sandalwood and musk. And Gayak wood, or Gayak wood, I'm not sure, sure how to pronounce that either as well. It's, um, it's obviously a wood, but it's got very kind of, it's supposed to be very smoky and tarry and dark uh, and very exotic smelling. So that's in the base of it. So um, yeah, I'll show you the bottle. It's, I haven't got the lid or the box, unfortunately, but if you watch the video, which you are, it would have had a picture of the box and stuff. It's very, it's a very pink affair. It's very pretty and pink and nice. Um, the lid actually is looks like this, but it has pink on the top. But for now, I'll just show you the bottle. So it's very wide. Bulgari's bottles are always difficult to spray. They're not the most easy things to hold. They're kind of awkward, but um, yeah, they're, it's. I don't know, funny shape, I don't know, it's flat from the top like that, but it kind of, I don't know, pulls down to a thicker wideness. It sounds like somebody's having an argument outside, I hope they're not, I hope they're okay. Anyway, the, bo the bottom is round, and it's got a gold sprayer, and uh, yeah, the lid is, for both of them, would be like this, it's kind of gold, but the other one has pink, like I said. And it says Bulgari Rose Essential on the front. And this is an Eau de Parfum, like I said. So I've had it drying on this hand for ages, but I'm going to spray it on this hand as well. It sprays out a lot. Did you, did you hear that? More importantly, did you see that? It's a hell of a lot of fragrance that comes out of it. Um, so what does it smell like? Um, it's... The main points I will say about it is that rose can be very diverse. Rose is an extremely diverse note to have in a fragrance. There are so many different kinds for starters, but then even if you picked one and put it in a fragrance, it can be interchangeable in the way it smells, depending on what it's put with. It's, it's really a really, really diverse, beautiful flower. I'd probably say it's like the queen of flowers, you know, rose is, it's rose, it's romantic, people give it on special occasions, it kind of dominates weddings and things like that, it's, it's pretty much an amazing flower and 
it can smell many, many different ways. But in this fragrance, it's represented, I would say, romantic. It's a very, very... Sorry, there's people. Can you hear them shouting outside the window? This is crazy. Like, I, London is just driving me crazy. Anyway, so it's very romantic. It's soft. It's extremely, extremely elegant, and it has the perfect amount of sweetness. It's, it has this, you know, you know when something's sweet, and you, sometimes you like sweet things, this is just the perfect amount of sweetness to not make it candy or anything like that. It is, it's very, very elegant, and it's just, it has a kind of sparkle to it. It's got some really uh, heavy kind of exotic notes in the base, like patchouli and uh, sandalwood, and also that guyac wood. They kind of don't reveal themselves until a lot later on. This stays like a perfect combination of really sweet, pretty uh, rose with violet and um, a tinge of blackberry. Now the violet in this, if you've ever smelled their original Pour Femme, which is this, it looks exactly the same, but this is the Pour Femme. This is a more uh, violet based fragrance and this has a similar kind of feel because of the amount of violet that's in it. It's kind of like their sisters. They do feel very similar in the kind of violet respect, if that makes any sense. but. They, ha they share a similar vein, but where this one, where this one is really glamorous and really violety and perfumey and drippingly gold, this one feels like it's the same kind of perfume, but it has rose dotted all around it. It's kind of like powdered with rose. It's, it's very, very beautiful and very glamorous and it kind of it kind of just gets, as I said before, kind of richer as it dries, but that's only because of the woods. It still holds on to this very powdery elegance, but when it dries, it becomes that slightly more woody, and like I said, not in that pencil shaving woody, but more that uh, unusual exotic woody. It's, it's very, very hard to describe. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of it really. It's, it needs to be smelled to be believed, I always say that. It's so hard to describe a fragrance without actually smelling it in your nose and wearing it or even smelling it on somebody else. That's when I usually realise a fragrance. I'm like, God, that smells amazing. On yourself, you can't really tell. But, um, yeah, it's, I'll just to sum it up again, it's just very romantic, elegant, soft, slightly sparkly, and it's very rose violet. The violet gives it a, a massive softness and the roses in it just make it smell very elegant. It's kind of regalish, it's lovely and it lasts forever. I wore this out to a concert before and I could smell it the next day on my neck. Like it's crazy, it's, it's crazy but that's it. That is Bulgari Rose Essential by Bulgari. Beautiful bottle but really hard to spray. You've got to get your hands around it like a claw and do it like that. So that's it. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute because I'm just going to review a few other things tonight because I have some free time. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.